Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain open loop control system with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will explain block diagram, applications, advantages and disadvantages of open loop system. So let us start this video with first agenda that is block diagram of open loop system. First of all, one should know what is control system. See in control system, we give input and based on input, control system generates desired output, right? So in control system, we give input and based on input, system generates desired output. Now I'll explain you block diagram of open loop system. See in open loop system, input is given to controller. Here controller is generating controlled signal. That controlled signal that is also known as manipulated signal. And this controlled signal that we give it to plant and plant will generate desired output. So here there are few essential key points that you need to note down. See here we don't give feedback of output, right? We don't give feedback of output. This controller that is taking control action and control action of controller that is based on input only. It is not based on output. Why the reason is there is no feedback. So control action of controller that is based on input only that is not based on output. Why the reason is there is no feedback. And one more point that you need to note down. See this controlled signal that is also referred as manipulated signal, right? So open loop systems that is not having any feedback, right? With open loop system, this controlled signal is generated by controller with the use of input and control action of controller that is independent of output, right? And this controlled signal that is also known as manipulated signal, right? Now, I'll explain you applications of open loop system. So, one of the simple application is volume control of audio system. See, here with audio system, let us say input is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That input that we give it to controller. That controller is generating controlled signal. That signal is given to speaker that is plant. And speaker is generating sound. So by controlling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 volume, we can control generation of sound, right? So that is open loop system example. See one more example that could be hair dryer. Here input could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That input is given to controller. That controller is controlling control signal and that is given to plant. Here plant is generating heated air. So based on input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Temperature of heated air that is getting controlled over here, right? See, next application is door lock system in which input is given to controller. Controller is generating controlled signal which is given to plant. Here a plant is lock system. So that is quite simple example of open loop system where there is no feedback, right? See, one more example is there that is washing machine. See, with washing machine, there could be closed loop system. But here, I'll discuss about how open loop system washing machines could be there. Like with washing machine, if input is timer, like if you give input of 5 minutes, then washing machine that is getting turned on for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, it is getting turned off. So, based on simple input, output is there with washing machine, that is open loop system where we don't have any feedback, right? So with open loop system, we don't have any feedback. Output is controlled by input only, right? Here, if you talk about advantages of open loop system, then one should know open loop systems are simple in structure. The reason is there is no feedback, right? Here, input is given to controller and Controller is giving controlled signal to plant. So that is how 
सिंपल ले आउट इज देर दैट्स वाई ओपन लुक सिस्टम आर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव सो दैर इज अंप्लिसिटी इन स्ट्रक्चर दैट्स वाई ओपन लुक सिस्टम आर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव सी ओपन लुक सिस्टम आर कन्वीनियंट टू यूज एज एंड वेन आउटपुट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर लाइक विथ वॉशिंग मशीन इट इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड विदर क्लोथ्स आर वॉश्ड परफेक्टली और नॉट सो इन दैट सिचुएशन इट इज क्वाइट कन्वीनियंट टू यूज ओपन लुक सिस्टम वेर वी कैन गिव मैन्युअल इनपुट्स मैन्युअल इनपुट्स कुड बी फाइव मिनिट टाइमर टेन मिनिट टाइमर राइट सो ओपन लुक सिस्टम आर कन्वीनियंट टू यूज एज एन वेन आउटपुट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर वाई द रीजन इज विथ ओपन लुक सिस्टम आउटपुट इज नॉट गिवन इन फीडबैक राइट सो कंट्रोलर इज टेकिंग कंट्रोल एक्शन विच इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑन आउटपुट राइट सी मोस्टली ओपन लुक सिस्टम्स आर स्टेबल वाई द रीजन इज देर इज नो फीडबैक सो इन फीडबैक वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ओपन लुक सिस्टम वेर यू विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग विथ ओपन लुक सिस्टम मोस्टली वी हैव स्टेबल सिस्टम एंड हियर विथ ओपन लुक सिस्टम वी हैव फास्ट रिस्पॉन्स सी विथ ओपन लुक सिस्टम वी हैव फास्टर रिस्पॉन्स वाई द रीजन इज गेन ऑफ ओपन लुक सिस्टम इज वेरी हाई as gain of system is very high response of system is fast with closed loop system gain of system is decreasing because of lower gain with closed loop system response is lower so these are the essential key points that one should know open loop systems are mostly stable and it is having faster response it is simple in structure and cost effective right now when you talk about disadvantages then one should know open loop systems are inaccurate in nature why it is inaccurate the reason is controller doesn't control signal with the use of output as there is no feedback right so control action that is based on input only it is not depending on output that's why open loop systems are inaccurate in nature see open loop systems are unreliable as well why the reason is system response is not depending on output it is only depending on input as there is no feedback right see open loop systems needs manual offset correct why the reason is with open loop system automatic error correction is not possible why it is not possible the reason is there is no feedback of output if you don't have feedback of output then automatic error correction is not possible that's why with open loop system we need to have manual offset correction right see open loop systems are sensitive to disturbance means if disturbance arises then rate of change of output that is also fast over here with open loop system so one can say open loop systems are sensitive to disturbances right see open loop systems that is not suitable for complex system it is suitable for simple structure system only right so this is all about open loop system i hope you have enjoyed this session still if any confusion is there just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video